Hello everybody and welcome to vloggy type thing 2 part 2 well mark, mark 2 or whatever try to because I tried to record this before and the audio quality was absolutely horrific so I had to turn that off um normally my face is like really up close to the microphone and I can have the gain turned down really low uh, that way it takes care of all the background noise and the echo and all of that crap, even though the echo is still there and you can kind of hear it if you know what to look for. But uh, yeah, so I have to turn it up a little bit so the microphone could be here instead of right in front of my face, covering my face. Um, so I have to fiddle with the audio gain every now and then, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. But, you know, uh, so here we go, second try. Um, so in the last vlog, I covered commercials. And uh, I haven't seen that guy for a while. I don't know, maybe YouTube actually watched my video and went, oh, maybe we should stop showing this guy the, the, that, those commercials because they're obviously not working. You're paying for an advertisement that's not actually doing anything. Um, but, uh, so, but it was popular. It was kind of popular. I got uh, more views in a day and a half than I got in the previous quest for creative in like a week uh so hey <laughs> apparently the vlog thing was a good thing or if you guys just wanted to see my face that badly you clicked on the video you watched five seconds of it and went okay and closed it i don't know whichever um but uh so i got a really strange question on that last video um how old are you now, that doesn't sound like a really strange question. It sounds fairly straightforward, but it is kind of a strange question because what does it matter? Is there any real, like, importance to how old I am or how old anybody is, really? Um, like, uh, there are a lot of misconceptions about age. Uh, you know, when you're a child, you're innocent, uh, and that's not true in a lot of sense. Um, when you're a teenager, you're an asshole. Uh, and, okay, that's true in a lot of sense, but not as bad as a lot of people make it sound. Yes, you're a teenager. Yes, you're biologically wired to be stupid. Um, and that's actually true. You're biologically wired to do stupid things. You're biologically wired to take extra risks. Um there's a reason for that and i forget exactly what it is but it actually makes sense uh but i keep that in mind when i'm dealing with teenagers because they're just teenagers um i mean it's the whole or hormonal imbalance thing um yeah i mean they're growing up they're going through puberty it's a thing uh so i give them a lot of a lot of leeway when it comes to that kind of stuff but uh you know when you're you're in your 20s you're out there you're taking risks you're an adult all that fun crap when you're in your 30s you're settling down and all that fun crap when you're you know in your 40s you're getting old uh when you're 50s you are old all that it's all misconceptions it's all fake it's all bullshit mostly perpetrated by tv and media media in general um but uh it's all relative um you know like i said not all children are innocent um there are a lot of children out there who know exactly what the hell they're doing, and they're kind of assholes. There are a lot of bit of assholes. Uh, not all teenagers are assholes. Um, I mean, okay, I admit, when I was a teenager, I was going through the whole angsty teenager thing as well. But, you know, even, even while I was doing that, I understood that other people were other people. They had different experiences. They had different levels of intelligence. Um, and they saw the world different than I did. Um, and I knew a lot of people like that. I knew a lot of the traditional teenage assholes, but in general, they were assholes. They were assholes before they were teenagers. I'm sure they're assholes now after teenagerdom. Um, you know, when I was in my 20s, I didn't, I wasn't one out there taking all the risks and all that fun crap. Um, I don't think I've settled down yet. <laughs> it probably doesn't qualify as settling down yet. Uh, but, you know, I, I look at my grandparents, and, I mean, they're in their 70s, but I don't see them as old. I mean, uh, my grand... Uh, 
yeah, on my mother's side, my grandparents, they own a farm and they run a farm. Um, I don't qualify that as old. I mean, when you think old, you think somebody who really kind of can't move around all that well. And But they're not old. Uh, not only are they not old in that sense, they're not, you know... Uh, resistant technology either i mean they have the internet they have the laptop they like the internet they think it's a great thing um they understand the difference between the first leg of dsl and the third leg of dsl <laughs> um and, and so i mean they they know they understand technology they're not the stereotypical old people uh, my grandparents on my dad's side, they're definitely not the stereotypical old people. Um, they've been working with computers longer than I've been alive. Uh, my grandfather actually taught Votech back where I went to high school. And he taught the computers there. Um, back when my dad was in high school, actually. Uh, I think, yeah, he was still teaching when I was there. I just didn't take Votech because the computer classes, uh, they, they expanded from Votech. Votech was very... I mean, it's vo vocational technology. Yeah, vocational technologies. And I don't understand a damn word of that. I don't understand what vocational means. I don't know that word. But uh, that was like, the mechanics. The people who wanted to be mechanics when they grew up were over in Votech. Uh, the computers had all moved over into just the regular school, the regular building. But when my, ki my dad was going to school, uh, my grandfather was teaching computers there. They were working with mainframes and crap like that. So when I look at old people, I don't see the stereotypical old person. Um, and you, Okay, let me ask you this. This actually kind of annoys me watching TV and stuff like that. When they take a young actor and they put on the makeup and they put on the mask and all that to make them look old, they always do a really, really shitty job of it, too. Have you ever seen an old person that actually looked like that? No, you don't. Um, when the, when the, the actors put on the makeup, they... they all, well, one, it looks like plastic. It looks like a mask. Um, and two, I mean, they look like over-dried prunes. I mean, yes, okay, when you get older, you get wrinkles, but not that bad. It is terrible. It's actually kind of annoying. Um, I'd love to give an example, but I can't remember specifics. I only remember generals. And But yes, I'm quite used to seeing that on TV where a young actor puts on the old makeup and looks nothing like what they'll actually look like when they're old. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of misconceptions that come with age. So that doesn't really mean anything. Um, there's the whole with age come wisdom thing, but that's not true. That that was prove that was inequivocally proven false by the United States government in the past few years. With age does not come wisdom, um, and I don't mean to just single out the U.S. government. There are a lot of governments in the world that are acting really fucking stupid right now. Um, the U.K. government, for example. But uh, I'm not singling out just them either. There are a lot of other governments out there that are actually really stupid. Um, but it's just, you know, with age does not come wisdom. I've, I've known quite a few younger people, teenagers even, that have had a lot of wisdom. They've had more wisdom than a lot of adults that I know. Um, so that doesn't really mean anything either. It's not a marker of intelligence. It's not a marker of wisdom. Intelligence, age, no, age is completely unrelated to intelligence. And I'm sure everybody knows that. Intelligence is how well you can put things together. Intelligence is your IQ. Uh, and that doesn't really change throughout your entire life. Um, and, uh, you know, so intelligence pretty much is the same. Your wisdom and your experience changes as you grow. Uh, with experience is supposed to come wisdom. So that's why they say with age comes wisdom, because with age, you're supposed to get more experience, and with more experience, you're supposed to get more wisdom. But there are a lot of older people that don't have the experience, and there's a lot of older people that do have the experience that don't have the wisdom that comes with it, because they don't learn from it. And 
you know, that's a huge piece of advice that I can give to anybody out there watching it is learn from your past. Pay attention to your past, even the shitty past, even the terrible stuff that you go through. It's valuable because you can learn from it. If you learn from something, it's not a complete wash. But there are... You know, if you can learn from your past, you can improve yourself. Um, and that's that's really where wisdom comes from. It comes from improving yourself. Uh, and you don't just have to learn from your past. Yes, making your own mistakes, you can learn more. It, it, it sticks better. But you can also learn from other people's past too. I mean, think about it. You know, When you're, you're a kid and your parents are teaching you not to touch the stove, it's hot. Well, you don't have to touch the stove to learn that it's hot. You could just listen to them and you know, you don't have to learn from that. So you can learn from other people. You can actually gain wisdom from watching other people. Um, and one piece of wisdom that I learned a long time ago was listen to the people that have more experience from you, but don't take it as gospel because it's not 100% true. Uh, they have more experience from you, so they're more likely to know the correct way to do things but it's not a guarantee. Uh, and I learned that a long time ago. Uh, back when I was working tech support, back at my old job, uh, people would regularly go, how did you do that? I didn't think that was possible. Uh, it's because nobody told me that it couldn't be done. And even if people tell me that it couldn't be done, I went, but wait. You know, fact A and fact B... And you're saying this thing C is false, but fact A and fact B put together means that C is true. So yeah, you just it's it's a mix and match kind of thing. Um, it, it's like those math problems that you get in high school. It's these long giant word problems where they give you like twelve different numbers, and you have to use two of them to solve the solve the question. They don't. Do that to see if you can solve the math. They do that so that you learn that you will get a lot of extraneous data and you have to filter through it. And if you're good at filtering through it, you're good at solving problems. Um, that's why I've always been good at tech support and just in general getting to the source of the problem because I can filter through the extraneous data and get to the source of the problem. Um like I said, with the whole, you know, monetizable views thing, the source of the problem is the shitty ass commercials and the fact that we have been trained throughout life to ignore commercials. Um, advertisement based revenue is probably not going to be a viable alternative for much longer. I mean, it works for some people, but it's probably not going to be viable for very long. Uh, but I'm straying off topic here. Uh, we, the topic is age. Um, now, age is an arbitrary number. Um, well, it's not really arbitrary. Somebody didn't pull it out their ass, but all it really does is measure how many times you've orbited around the sun. And, I mean, there are a few markers in there, but most of the markers are put in there by other people. Um, I mean, why is your birthday important at all? It's because everybody else says that it's important. Uh, I mean, when you, when you have your first birthday, your very first birthday, your brain is not developed enough to know that it's your birthday. You don't understand it. You're just a kid. All, they, all you know is that they sat this cake down in front of you and just left you to it. And as most kids that I've seen, uh, the face goes into the cake pretty much instantly. It's pretty much universal that, uh, the, you know, that, I mean, it's, it's tradition, <laughs> but maybe it's just tradition around where I live. But I mean, so your first birthday, you don't understand it. Your second birthday, you're a toddler now. And yeah, it's, you're kind of starting to understand it. I mean, you're understanding that there's all these people around, they're all paying attention to you. And that's kind of a big thing when you're that that young is people are actually paying attention to you because that's what you want. You want attention. And you're getting all this free stuff. You're getting all of these toys that you've wanted and some toys that you didn't know you wanted until you got them. 
you know, and then uh, three and four, it's the same kind of thing. I mean, there's no real markers there, but, you know, you're still, all these people are coming over, they're paying attention to you, people that you only saw your last birthday, you don't, totally don't remember them, but they claim to remember who you are, they claim to know you since you were this big, and, you know, you know, you've grown so much since the last time you saw them and all that fun crap, but they're paying attention to you and that's the important thing and you're getting all of this stuff and you get the cake and you get the ice cream and all that. Um, and when you're five years old, you're going to kindergarten. Ooh, that's actually kind of an important thing. Um, it's six through nine. I mean, you're still a kid. It's still important to you. You're understanding the whole birthday thing now. You definitely grasp that concept. You understand and you're getting the presents and it's important to you because you're getting the presents and the cake and the ice cream that's actually secondary but it's still cool and all your friends get to come over and hang out you know and all that fun stuff and when you're 10 years old hey you're in the double digits it's actually important you can go i'm this old and all that fun crap and you know it's cool and all but uh and i've just got email on the thing that i've been working on all day and it's just telling me that it actually worked so, yes, awesome. It's always good when you get emails that say, hey, it actually worked. I don't need you to do anything. It's always good. It's just database maintenance. It's just a habit that I do. But anyways, back to what I was doing. So, yes, you're 10 years old. It's an important day. You're double digits and all that fun stuff. Um, the next marker is actually a, you know, a little bit of a jump. You're 12 years old. Um, and for the most part, people don't really – it's not really a marker – but for some people, it is a marker because you're old enough to drive the farm equipment. Um, you're legally old enough to drive the tractor around the farm. And uh, I guess some people would actually give a crap about that. Some people don't. Um, but the next marker, that's also an important marker. The next marker, you have a little bit more of a jump. You're 14 years old. Uh, you're allowed to go and sign up to work. Uh, you can get a worker's permit. And you can go and have your first job. Now, it's a ridiculously limited job. You're not allowed to work uh, like school hours or, you know, school days. And you're only allowed to work something absolutely ridiculous, like four hours a week or something like that. Now, I'm sure that varies from state to state, from country to country. But where I live, 14 years old, you're allowed to get a worker's permit. You're allowed to start working unless you're on a farm. And then you're allowed to start working at 12, but that's different. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can have your first job, your first shit job uh, at McDonald's and is usually the traditional job, some form of fast food in general. Um, you know, after that, and you got another little jump until you're 16. Oh, but it's the sweet 16. You get to drive and it's all important. And, and the traditional gift, I mean, you get a car. Um, I didn't get a car. Fuck. <laughs> A lot of people don't get cars. Um, I was told when I turned 16 that if you want to learn how to drive, you have to get a job and pay the insurance that th that my parents' insurance was going to increase. You, you, I got to pay for my own insurance. That's what I was told when I turned 16. And I'm like, okay. You know, at that, at that age, I had uh, pretty much gotten the idea that if I wanted something special, I was going to have to pay for it myself. I was going to get basic stuff so every now and then. I would get stuff for like birthdays or Christmas. But for the most part, if I wanted something special, I had to pay for it myself. I had to earn the money and I had to pay for it myself. And I was fine with that. Uh, the, the, the next marker, I mean, is when you turn 18 because then you're legally an adult. And that is the traditional time to be kicked out of your parents' house. I wasn't. Um, I actually willingly left not long after that. I went to college. Um, graduated college when I was 19 too. Uh, sounds all fancy, but it doesn't actually really mean anything. I graduated high school at the exact time I was expected to graduate high school. And then I took a, uh, shortened college. Uh, it was two years packed to a year and a half. So I actually graduated just before I like two months before my 20th birthday. Uh, but I got an associate's degree when I was 19. And if I just say it like that, it sounds fancy, but it's not. It's totally not. It doesn't actually mean anything. Um, so the next marker, the next marker is the important marker, the one everybody looks forward to, and that's when you're 21, you could drink. Um, and everybody drinks on their 21st birthday. I mean, it's, it is traditional, unless you live in a country where the drinking age is lower or higher or something, though I think, I think the United States is either the 
strictest or one of the strictest countries when it comes to drinking age. Um, like in other countries, it's 18, it's 16. I think in some countries, it's like 12. In some countries, it's like, fuck it, you can drink. I don't know. I, I don't actually pay attention to laws in other countries. Um, it's hard for me to keep track of my own laws. My uh, The laws in my country are insane to begin with. But uh, yeah, so when you're 21, you can drink. And everybody goes out and they get drunk They're on their 21st birthday. It's traditional. Uh, even if you don't drink. I don't drink. I actually do not drink at all. It's not that I have a moral objection to it or anything like that. It's I don't like the taste of alcohol. And I have not found a single drink, mixed or otherwise, that I like. Uh, I find it all quite disgusting. It makes me, it just, it makes me sick, the taste. Um, I call it bounce back. Basically, if I drink like a beer, which is hilarious considering the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Uh, if I drink a beer, I get bounced back. Basically, I drink it and then I want to throw it back up again because it's it's the taste. Um, now, not to diss on these people, I've from my understanding, these people have like the best beer out there. I don't know. Uh, and to be perfectly honest, um, my first drink was a Budweiser, and that probably just fried my taste buds from then on. Um, so my first drink was a Budweiser and it was terrible. It was absolutely horrific. Uh, this beer actually is not that bad. Um, I still don't like it, but it doesn't make me completely want to vomit. Um, I can act, I can actually drink it, but I don't because like I said, I just don't like the taste of it. Um, I have never had a mixed drink that I can tolerate. Um, I have learned that if I put a few in me, I stop caring but, you know, it's just, it, I can taste the alcohol and it's, my tongue is very sensitive to the taste of alcohol. And it all, I, in every single drink that I drink, I can taste the same thing, the alcohol. Even if it's different types of alcohol, vodka, tequila, beer, um, I can taste alcohol, specifically the alcohol. And it's specifically the alcohol that I dislike. So it's definitely an interesting thing. But even then, even then, my first time I ever got carded was on my 21st birthday when I went out with my stepdad and we went and we bought margaritas. And uh, yeah, so uh, I mean, that's that's really the last important marker in your life. If you think about it, I mean, the next marker is when you're 25 and that's car insurance. It's like, oh, yes, car insurance now considers you a responsible adult, so that's when your car insurance starts dropping. Um, and then after that, it's this huge gap, and it's this huge gap into something that doesn't isn't even a good thing. It's when you're 40 and you're over the hill. You know, it, it means you're old. It's, you're getting on with your life. You're halfway through your life, which is bullshit. Um, you know, so... Uh, and then after that, I mean, you're 50, you're half a century. And I think that's actually pretty good, honestly, because, hey, you've seen 50 years worth of stuff. You have 50 years worth of history to learn from. But, uh, yeah, from that, I mean, it's it, after that, it's retirement age, which is variable. By the time I get there, it'll be past that. And by the time I get to that, it'll probably be you retire when you die. Because um, that's all based on, like, Social Security, isn't it? when you're you're able to get social security or how much of social security you can get and by the time i get to that point social security is probably going to be gone um so if i retire it's going to be on what i save and you know i mean i have a 401k i don't have anything in it but hey i made the first step um and then from there i mean the only other solid marker is senior citizen and that's what, 73, something like that. Um, and that's not really all that important of a marker. I mean, you can't, it's not like you can go out and rent ultra porn or anything like that. Uh, the best you get is a little bit of a discount on, you know, food. You get a senior citizen discount. It's like, okay, that's great. And then you're expected to be old and crotchety. Um, you're, you're expected to go to the early bird specials and all that fun crap. You're expected to walk th slow and drive slow. And, you know, it's not 
really a good marker either. Uh, so really, after your 21st birthday, I mean, why really is there any reason to count after that? Um, you know, after you're 21, it's like, does it really matter? Um, I mean, it's not really a marker for anything anymore. Nothing important, nothing useful. Um, like I said, it doesn't cover wisdom. People can get wisdom when they're younger. People don't get wisdom when they're older. It depends on who you are. Uh, intelligence sticks around with you throughout your entire life. Uh, your smarts, how much you actually know, uh, that can vary from person to person depending on how much effort you put into it. And it doesn't really matter. So when you ask, how old are you? It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, even when, even if you're told the exact number down to the day, down to the minute, down to the second, it doesn't matter. It doesn't tell you anything important. It doesn't tell you anything. Um, it's not like, uh, you know, where did you come from? At least where you, where did you come from? It can give you a general idea, it can give you some kind of information. Uh, like why do you talk with that particular accent? Oh, well, it's because I come from York. And all that fun crap. I come from the other side of the country. That's why I talk with a Californian accent or whatever. Uh, but how old you are doesn't really mean anything. Um, so, yeah, when somebody asks, how old are you? I have to think about that for a little while because I don't count. I don't care. Um, and even then, uh, it's like, I wonder why. It's like, is there any particular reason why you're asking? Um, I mean, is it a legal thing? Maybe you magically somehow think I'm younger than 21. And it... yeah, <laughs> uh, there are places out there that do card no matter what. Uh, I, uh, what was it? There was a couple of places that I went to that if you look under 35, they will card you even though you have to be at least 21. Um and that's just a buffer kind of thing. Because there are people that are younger than 21 that look older than 21. Uh, but there are people that are older than 21 that look younger than 21. And it's it's a weird thing. So they, they do a big giant buffer and uh, they say 35. Um, but, uh, you know, honestly, outside of my 21st birthday when I got carded, when we got margaritas, I've never actually been carded. Oh, wait. Yes, I was. I was. Um I was carded when I went out and bought Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> that was funny. Um, he's like, I'm going to have to ask for ID. And I just kind of look at him. I'm like, are you shitting me? <laughs> You're going to have to ask for ID? He's like, yeah, well, you know, they they, they, uh, they make me do that in case you're buying it for a kid or something. I'm like, what? <laughs> do you see a kid around here? I don't know. Some of the rules are arbitrary. And it's really silly. But uh, yeah, the, that was the only time I was ever carded that I just kind of went, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you stupid or something? No, the rules are stupid. But the rules are put in place based on how many times you've gone around the sun. And it's really silly. It doesn't really mean anything. Um, though I should have fun someday. I should actually calculate this someday. And when somebody asks how old I am, I should give the revolutions around the center of the galaxy. But, I mean, it's the same arbitrary set of numbers. Uh, we we revol or we orbit around the galaxy just like we orbit around the sun. Um, so I could have some really serious fun. I, was like, I am point zero 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 whatever galactic years old. <laughs> That would actually be kind of awesome. I'll have to do the math on that someday and figure that out. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so when you ask somebody their age, it's for a legal requirement for the most part. I mean, after a certain point, it's legal. It doesn't really make any difference. So, yeah, whatever. Um, so, yes, a very interesting question. Very long answer for such a short question. But this is how I think some days. It's somebody asked a generic question, and then I just kind of go off with it. Like the one day I was talking about uh, programming, and, uh, well, it wasn't programming. It was something. It was something about programs. But it's somebody had, and I, and, and, and I was thinking, well, you have to program for the lowest common denominator. 
And then I started thinking about that. That was a little bit silly. Why do you have to program for the lowest common denominator? Why do we say that? Why do we say lowest common denominator when we're talking about the stupidest person? I mean, if you think about it, what's the lowest common, de dom common denominator between four and three? Well, that's like what? Wait, four, four, eight, yeah, 12. So that's 12. So the lowest common denominator is higher than what we're looking at. So if the lowest common denominator is always higher than what we're dealing with, why do we aim for the lowest common denominator and aim low? I mean, if we're aiming for lowest common denominator, shouldn't we be aiming higher? Because it's a common thing? Um, so yeah, I, this is how I think this. I, I think strange shit, and that's kind of why I do the vlog thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I would be interested in friendly banter at the, in the comments. Uh, just keep it friendly, of course, though. I haven't had that problem. I mean, I have had problem with... I, I did have one comment, well, two comments, that uh, were just straight up vulgar and completely unre unrelated to it. And it didn't bother me too much. Basically, all I did was uh, report block delete in that order and that was it that's all i did it's like i don't care <laughs> um so yeah anyways i'm gonna, gonna end it here before i ramble on any further and just spoil the next episode or possibly whatever else i think of at the time and i will say to you guys as always keep playing the game and have fun And for those of you, for some reason, still give a crap about how old I actually am, I'm 31.